Hi everyone, it's me. In today's video, we are going to be delving into the world of walking workouts. I feel like I have gotten so many, so, 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 so many requests to try walking workouts on my channel. So the time has finally come and I will be trying some walking workouts this week for you guys. If you are watching this video right now and you're like, what the heck is a walking workout? Like, is it just going out for a walk? Let me tell you, there is a whole world out there of at-home walking workouts. They're basically just walking on the spot, maybe doing different variations of walking. So in this video, I'll be trying five different popular walking workouts on YouTube, and I'll be giving you my usual calorie counts, my intensity rating, my fun rating, and if I can figure it out on my Apple Watch, I'll try and give you a step count as well. But yeah, basically, I will be walking in today's video. But first, before we start walking, we're obviously going to need a snack because snacks are awesome and obviously we need our energy to get our steps in. So as you all know, I am in love with Built Bars. I have been eating them for months and months and months and months. I have been buying a box after box after box because they keep running out because I keep eating them too quickly. You can probably imagine how I am excited to say that I have partnered with Built Bar. Thank you to built for sponsoring this video. So if you know me, I'm not really a big like protein head. I don't like take whey protein after my workouts. So I'm generally not a fan of protein bars either. First of all, because they usually don't taste good and the texture of protein bars are generally kind of like gross to be honest. But I have to tell you guys, Built Bar has Done it. They have somehow created this magical protein bar that literally tastes like a chocolate bar. Not only are Built Bars delicious, but they're also high in protein and gluten-free, so they are definitely a perfect snack for the health-minded individual. Today, I'm going to be snacking on my absolute favorite. That is the coconut Built Bar. Let's warm this baby up. I love warming them up to the point where they like gush out the sides like this, like literally a cake, you guys. Mm. Mm. All right, you guys, snack done. I hope I don't have like chocolate on my teeth or anything because that would be embarrassing. But anyways, I am all fueled up now and ready to go. Let's start walking. We are starting off our walking adventure with the legend, the one and only Leslie Sansone. This walking workout that I'm trying today is called Fast Walking in 30 Minutes. This video has 70 million views. So yeah, definitely a good one to start with because it's so flippin' popular. But without further ado, let's just start walking. So much fun and I actually did manage to break a little bit of a sweat so that was basically just 30 minutes of straight walking and there were different variations of walking you know different kinds of steps different sequences of steps adding in arms or maybe like a torso rotation or something so Leslie here did really do a good job at making it exciting and it didn't just feel like I was plain old walking for 30 minutes so it definitely kept things exciting this one was just like a dang good old time and everyone in this video that was walking Walking, like behind Leslie as demonstrators was wearing the same pair of like red pink shoes so like that was hilarious and I love that so yeah definitely very fun and as you can see yeah I did break a little bit of a sweat and my heart rate did go up to quite a good level definitely not as high as when I do like really intense hit workouts but yeah definitely very decent on that front on my step count it says 3724 steps so I think that is pretty dang good. The walking was definitely very fast paced. She really emphasized like following the beat of the music while we were walking. So that really helps you keep up the pace while you're going. I really liked this one to be honest. For intensity, I'm gonna give this one a seven. And for fun factor, I'm gonna give it an 8.5. Definitely a good start to my walking adventure. We'll see what happens when I walk again. All right, day two of our walking adventure will be led by the lovely Holly Dolkey. This walking workout is a little shorter than the one yesterday. So we did 30 minutes yesterday and today's will be 15 minutes long only. Let's just try it out and see how it goes. Alright, so 
So this one definitely had a different style compared to Leslie's yesterday. So yesterday, we basically walked for the entire 30 minutes. Every single exercise was kind of a variation on walking. With Holly's workout here, we alternated from doing walking and then other exercises. So how she structured it was we did 30 seconds of walking and then 30 seconds of like any other exercise. So I feel like the walking kind of was like the glue or like the connector or like the active rest times in this workout. I feel like the walking in this one was more slow paced and I think that might be due to the music that was playing throughout this workout. For my step count today, my little reader is saying 1,507 steps. For my ratings, I'm going to give intensity on this one a 7.2 and then for fun factor, I'm going to give this one a 7.5. I think something like this has the potential to be really exciting and really fun. Maybe even doing a workout like this with a bit higher intensity, like higher intense exercises in between the walking could be interesting to try. We're learning about a whole new workout style here. That is it for my walking today. I will see you tomorrow. <sighs> it's me. I'm back. So it's been like two days since I last filmed for YouTube. There were some festivities this weekend. It was Father's Day. So we did a lot of father fun activities. So I didn't really work out this weekend, but that is okay because we are back at it today. If you didn't notice, I did chop all of my hair off and I got it done finally. So I feel like a new girl and I'm ready to get back into my walking. <laughs> Today, we are getting back into it with a Grow With Joe. I have heard so many great things about Joe. She seems like such a lively, bubbly, friendly, genuine person. And I've noticed that so many of you have been asking me to try her workout. So walking workout seems to be quite a specialty from her. So I'm definitely excited to try try this. This video from her that I'm doing is called three mile fat burning indoor walk. Burn up to 500 calories. The video is about 45 minutes long, so it is quite a bit longer, but we'll see how this workout is. First of all, I want to talk about Jo herself. This is obviously the first video I've seen from her, the first workout I've done from her, so this is really my first impression. And she is the most bubbly, energetic, like happy, bouncy person I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I feel like her energy just like comes through the screen and just like immediately brightened up my day. Like she's literally smiling and bouncing around the entire 45 minutes of this workout. So yeah, first of all, love that right off the bat. To talk about this workout itself, I feel like it was kind of a mix between the Holly Dolky workout and the Leslie Sansone. So the similarities to Leslie Sansone is that all the exercises were upright on your feet. It was all just kind of variations of walking, stepping, with some like arm punches and rotations and twisting added in there to get a little bit of core and arm work. And then for similarities to Holly Dolkies, I would say the structure was quite similar. We did like an active walking variation exercise for 40 seconds. And then in between all of those 40 second exercises, we just did regular walking for 20 seconds as kind of like the rest. But the difference is everything was upright. We didn't do like sit-ups or like, you know, other exercises like that. I think my heart rate has been the highest <laughs> during this workout and I'm clearly like the sweatiest that I've been for this walking video. In terms of the calorie count claims and like the walking distance claim in her title, I did not burn 500 calories. My calorie count is up here on the screen, but to be honest, like I think that amount of calories for a 45 minute walking workout is decent. I wouldn't like take points away for that. So in the title, she claims that this indoor walking workout would equal basically walking three miles. And on my Apple watch, it says that I have walked 4.83 kilometers and that literally Literally converts exactly to three miles. So I think that is pretty cool how accurate that was. And then just for my other thoughts regarding this workout, I think it was a really good walking workout. If I were to pick a walking workout so far this week, I do think I really like this one. But I will say it was a little bit too long for me personally with my short workout attention span. Around the like 25 minute mark, it was like, is this workout done yet? Has it been 45 minutes yet? I would say if you're the type of person who likes like watching a movie or a show while working out. I know there's a lot of people out there like that. This would kind of be the perfect workout to do that with. You know, you could just
just mute this video, do the steps and follow her while watching like Netflix or something. For me personally, just walking for 45 minutes straight or doing variations of walking without any other like external thing to entertain me, it was just a bit too long for me. But yeah, I feel like this was a really well-rounded, really well done workout and I want to try more from Joe's channel. For my step count on this workout, my counter has not updated yet. I think it's gonna take a few minutes to update but I'll put it up here on screen for you so you can see the step count. For intensity, I'm gonna give this one an eight and then for fun factor, I'm also gonna give it an eight. I feel like just Joe's energy through the screen really helped me have like a good time during this workout so I absolutely love, love, love that. But yeah, that is it for this one. We will continue walking tomorrow. All right, you guys, time to try our fourth walking adventure workout. Don't mind this treadmill in the back that we just set up. We will discuss that and that will be a part of a future video. But for now, we're gonna continue with on the spot floor walking. And today's journey is going to be led by Joanna So. This is another channel that has been so highly requested by you guys. So I'm definitely excited to try this as well. And the title of this workout is called three kilometer fat burning indoor walk burn up to 400 calories. So similar to the Grow With Joe workout, we have a distance estimate goal kind of thing and we also have a calorie goal. I am more intrigued at the distance goal, so we'll see if we hit that as accurately as we did yesterday. This YouTube video is 38 minutes long, so it's a little bit of a longer one again, but slightly shorter than Joe's yesterday. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm feeling kind of sore. So like around my outer hip, I would say around like this region, like kind of this like backside outer glute region. I'm feeling a little sore today. So that might be a result of a Grow With Joe's workout yesterday. Something is happening down there. We're working our glutes, we're working our legs. I think that's great. But anyways, let us start this one and get walking. <laughs> That one was actually quite similar to Grow With Joe's in terms of the structure. The regular walking was used as kind of like a base or like your break time. The main difference here in terms of the structure was that the active time was 45 seconds long instead of just 40. And then the break, like walking time, was 15 seconds long. So in terms of the level, I would compare this to Grow With Joe's again. It was quite similar, but I feel like the vibe was a little more serious. In this workout, Joanna had really, really great form tips and everything throughout. She coached you through it, similar to Leslie Sansone, so I think that was really great. I do have to say though that a similar thing happened here where around halfway through the workout, I just started to get a little bit bored. <laughs> I feel like personally, for me, these walking workouts would be a great way to like warm up, but you know, personally, I do like getting on the floor and I do like doing other types of exercise. But that being said, I think this was a really great workout. And if you are into walking workouts, Joanna So is definitely, definitely a great option. For my ratings on this, one I'm going to give intensity an 8.2 and I'm going to give fun factor a 7.8 this was more of like a serious vibe workout rather than like a fun bouncy one the step count for this one is 3905 so I think that is pretty dang good again calories burned we did not hit 400 we hit 176 but again I think 176 calories is a great amount to burn in a 30 minute workout and then in terms of the distance claim so she claimed that we were going to walk three Three kilometers in this one and on my Apple watch it says 2.97 kilometers walked for this one so again that is pretty dang close and I think it's really cool how accurate they can get these walking meter kind of estimates to be but that being said that is it for today I will see you tomorrow we have a one more to try for this video okay time for our last walking workout review for this video the one I'm doing today is from Tegan Dixon this workout is called walking weight loss workout to burn calories while watching Netflix. <laughs> so the whole idea of this one is that you can just do this workout like in silence with Netflix playing in the background so you can like watch your favorite show while you do this workout. I think that's a little unique. <laughs> but to stay true to this workout, I'm going to try it while watching Netflix. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so that one was definitely an interesting experience for me. So as promised, the entire 20 minute workout was just silent with only beeps as audio cues to switch exercises. For the structure of it, we were basically constantly switching through different walking variations. Each exercise we did for one minute long, which I think works well with this idea of kind of like a background workout, like while you're watching something. While I do think this idea is fun and creative and can be useful for certain scenarios, I personally don't think it's my favorite way to work out. While I'm working out, I like to be like in the zone. Like I really like to just focus on my body, how it feels, really focus on good form and activating those specific muscles that I want to focus on. So having a distraction like this kind of took away from the workout for me. So I don't think I would want to do this workout as like my sole workout of the day, but maybe as like an additional thing. Like if I'm watching Netflix anyways, maybe I can just put this on and do it while I'm watching. And then for my ratings on this workout, I'm going to give intensity a six and I'm going to give fun factor an eight. Again, I think this is a really neat creative idea. It's something new that I haven't seen before. So I really appreciate that. I feel like this one was definitely more of a slow paced, more relaxed, Kind of workout. That is it for Tegan Dixon's Walk and Netflix. <laughs> and that basically wraps it up for this one. I have tried all of the walking workouts on my list that I wanted to this week. So my final conclusions on walking workouts. I think these walking workouts are a great form of like low impact exercise. If you have sensitive joints, like maybe your knees aren't so good or you're injured, I feel like these walking workouts would be great to do. Or if you're just on a low energy day or maybe even during period week, I think these would be a great method. To be honest, I don't think walking workouts are my favorite way to work out. They are a little bit dull for me, but I do think they are effective and I do think they have a good place in this workout world. <laughs> I am actually quite surprised at how many steps I got in with some of these workouts. For example, Grow With Joe's workout video got us to 5,700 steps basically. So if you're really big into counting steps, these are definitely a great way to do that. And then in terms of recommending one from this week, I think they all have different purposes. So if you're just looking for a really, really good and fun time, I would definitely recommend Leslie Sansone. She is definitely very energetic and makes it kind of like a party, kind of like a dance party workout feel. If you're looking for like a full body workout that has kind of walking mixed in throughout that, Holly Dolkies is definitely a good one to try. If you're looking for a more like intensive walking workout with a great bubbly energy, definitely try Grow With Joe. And then on the other hand, if you're looking for more intense workout, but with more of a serious vibe, I would go with Joanna So. And lastly, of course, if you're just itching to watch that last episode of your favorite show, but also want to get your body moving at the same time, then Tegan Dixon's is definitely a fun one to try. But that basically wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, give me like walking emojis, like either the people walking or a foot or a shoe or something, just walking themed emojis. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!